My name is Sabina Lovey and I'm teaming up with the Institute for Justice and we're suing the IRS. Tax season. Few things are more frustrating than dealing with the IRS and all of its red tape. And just when you thought the IRS couldn't get any more powerful and overbearing, now it claims the power to prevent tax return preparers from earning a living unless they first get permission from the IRS. My customers, not the IRS, should decide who prepares their taxes. Congress never gave the IRS the authority to license all tax preparers, and the IRS cannot give itself that power. The IRS is now demanding that all tax preparers pass a government-issued licensing exam, pay fees to the IRS, and take an unending series of continuing education classes. This sweeping new licensing scheme affects tax preparers from coast to coast and everywhere in between, even Eagle, Wisconsin, where Elmer Killian hangs out his shingle every tax season. I'm Elmer Killian of Eagle, Wisconsin, working as Eagle Tax Service and preparing taxes for my clients on my dining room table now for 30 years. And in an impoverished neighborhood on the south side of Chicago, this new red tape also entangles Sabina Loving, who owns an independent tax prep business. I've been preparing taxes professionally for the last three years. Loving Tax Service originally started in my home across the street. We seek to serve our community and our neighbors. If the licensing requirements go into effect, it's going to make it more expensive for me to operate and thus I have to pass those additional costs on to my clients. This licensing program the IRS passed is going to be very hard on the individual tax preparer that does a small number of taxes per year. After we absorb the cost of going to school, taking classes, taking tests, I'd have to increase my fees to my tax customers at least double, if not three times as much. As soon as these regulations go into effect, I would have to close down because I could not afford in good faith to charge my customers triple what they're now paying. The IRS estimates that 350,000 tax return preparers across the country will be affected by this new licensing scheme. Many independent preparers like Elmer will be forced out of business. So who benefits? Big tax prep firms like H&R Block supported these regulations because they reduce competition, which means higher prices and fewer options for taxpayers. And the American Institute of CPAs even lobbied for an exemption so that tax preparers supervised by CPAs don't have to be licensed. I would like to supervise more tax preparers at my business, but I didn't write the rules so I don't get a special exemption. This is nothing less than an IRS power grab. It infringes on the economic liberty of tax preparers, and it's against the law. I have a right to earn a living preparing taxes without getting permission from the IRS, and so do my employees. That's why the Institute for Justice has teamed up with Elmer and Sabina. We're suing the IRS and federal court to stop this abuse of power. And together, we're going to roll back this needless red tape. Subscribe now for more great videos from the Institute for Justice.